What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Drive Talk Cars and in today's episode I'm going to show you how to save your front bumper from getting those ugly rock chips. So let's jump into the video. So today we're going to be using a product called PPF. You may or may not have heard of it but basically it is a paint protection film. It's similar to vinyl wrap. Um, the only difference is it goes on clear so you can still appreciate and enjoy your vehicle's original color. Now historically, PPF has been installed by shops, professional shops, and it costs quite a bit of money. However, over the years, they have came up with some DIY solutions, and that is what I have today is a pre-cut PPF film from Invisible Mask, and I have the link to this product down in the description. And what they do is they pre-cut it to your vehicle specifications, and that way you don't have to worry about cutting it. You can just apply it almost like a uh, screen cover on your phone or a sticker. So let's jump into it and see how easy it is or how hard it is to apply. So as I mentioned, I got this from Invisible Mass. It's a pre-cut kit. So let's see what we get in the box. So I'm not sponsored by Invisible Mass, so this will be a true unbiased take and review on the product. So one thing that I like about Invisible Mask is if you order a certain dollar amount, you get a free installation kit, which consists of two spray bottles. You get a razor blade, a squeegee, it's a rubber squeegee, and a syringe. Just so you get the proper amount of soap that you need to apply to make your mixtures of uh, soap solution and alcohol solution. And you get a microfiber cloth. So there's two additional things that you're going to need outside of what the kit provides you. And that's going to be 70% isop isopropyl and that's going to be 70% rubbing alcohol and some type of dishwashing soap. Something like Dawn or something that's equivalent to that. Now, these two products will be used to make your solutions. The alcohol is going to be used to use as kind of your tack solution. I'm thinking because the alcohol dries up so fast that it will be more tacky when you put it on the film. So in the event that you have to tack one side down and stretch it out, you know, and move it, it won't slide with you. Now the dishwashing soap or baby shampoo is gonna be used for your solution that allows you to move the film back and forth until you set it. So that's why you need those two products. And as I mentioned, they give you a squeegee. So that's what we're gonna to use to measure out the dishwashing soap. Of course, you're gonna use water to fill up your spray bottles, but it's recommended to use distilled water instead of regular tap water. So before you apply the PPF, you wanna make sure that the surface that is gonna be used is free of dirt and is dry and free of no what <laughs> so before you apply the pbf you want to make sure that the painted surface that's to be covered is both clean and free of dirt and any wax residue then you want to make sure that you pre-mix both solutions so you have that already ready and it's best to do it if the temperature is between 50 and 90 degrees So now, let's go ahead and make our solution. So the next solution we're gonna do is gonna be your tag solution or your alcohol solution. So now we have our two solutions. So we're rolling out the kit here, just to ensure you have the right pieces. So as you can see, each piece is pre-cut and 
cut to size for my W212 E63. So I have the washers right here, the uh, headlight washers. And then this is a tow hook. So as you can see on here, it has a space out for the headlight washers. And then it has the film that you put over that. And then it has the outline for the tow hook. And it has a film for that and so on and so forth. So we kind of got to piece it together like a puzzle. But what helps is that it already looks like the bumper itself. As you can see, like this is where it goes in between the headlights. Should be pretty simple to identify where pieces go. It's just applying it. That's gonna be the challenging part, I think. So if you haven't done so already, check out drivetalkcars.com. That way you can get your own merch just like this. I have hoodies, t-shirts, jet tags, and stickers. So check it out. Back to the video. So the first plan of attack is gonna be apply the bigger piece, which is the main piece that goes around the uh, sides of the bumper all the way across the front and in between the headlights there and then we're going to move on to the smaller pieces so this is quite a large piece so it is recommended to have another person help you out if you don't have that other person you might want to apply one side while keeping the other side still attached to the backing that way you can avoid it falling on the floor and picking up dirt because if it picks up dirt I'm gonna guess it's pretty much ruined like any other sticker or anything that has adhesive on it so I'm gonna get some help. Using a tack free cloth, you wanna do a final wipe down to make sure there's no debris or anything left on the surface. So make sure you spray down the surface that you're gonna apply the film to, as well as the film itself. All right, so with it on there now, we want to start getting our middle point. And it looks like we're going to have to do a little bit of stretching. It looks like my middle is off by a little bit. The key is to keep it wet so you can keep maneuvering it. So I think I'm going to have to find a spot to tack it down. That way it won't slide when I go to stretch it. So this section over here has to be tacked down so I can stretch this part down. So I'm gonna use the alcohol solution for this one. You just need a little bit, just in case you need to pull it back up. And remember, you don't want to touch all over the film so you don't get fingerprints on it.
looking for parts that need to be stuck down, that are under stretch, you need to use the alcohol solution to tack it down. So I let it sit too long on this side without fraying it down, keeping it wet. So now it looks really tacky. Hopefully I can get it off here. All right. All right, so now that we got the other side, all I gotta do is get this side in position, ideally around the headlight washer area. Line those up and then I should be relatively good. So I'm gonna hit this corner here with the alcohol. Cause if you don't tack it down, then it starts to slide a lot. That makes it hard to stretch. As you can see this part right here, you pull it down. All right, get that water out. That allows for it to tack down. This part right here where it's stretched, you have to make sure you get the water out. You probably have to go over it a few times because as you can see, it builds up water down here. So you could release a lot of that by pulling it up. And allow for some of that water to come up out of there. So I see I got some hair under here. So I'm gonna try to put some. All right, so I was able to get it. Squeegee this, squeegee. So now you can see it forming to the bumper. All right, so now we have the main piece on. It was not that easy, but not that hard either. A lot of being patient and taking your time and working it out, and it all came together. So now I'm just gonna put the small pieces on, and then we'll see the final result. Now, it says you have to wait 24 hours to 48 hours, um, cause you will see some bubbles, but after 24 to 48 hours, it should, even now, uh, the water should evaporate, and you should be smooth sailing. But so far, so good. So let's get back into it. So since this piece is so flat, I almost could have just used the uh, alcohol solution to tack it down. Don't really need to slide it around. If you have a little curve or a little lip here, make sure that it's down in the middle of that lip. That way you get all the water out. 
because it likes to pull up and sit right here. All right, so there you have it guys. We have successfully installed the PBF on the front bumper. So as far as difficulty, a one out of five, I would give it probably a three. The hardest thing is taking it off and making sure you don't drop it so you don't get anything on the surface of the adhesive. That's probably the hardest thing because it's so big. So definitely need two people. Second thing is in some of the tight spots. For my bumper, I have a lot of curves and lips and stuff. So on those areas, it was kind of difficult to push it down. Um, you had to do a lot of stretching. The stretching was another issue. It's just something you have to play around with and figure it out the best way you can. I would say as a tip to start from the bumper, from the outside of the bumper right here, I would start over there first and then wrap it around. And that was the easiest way for me. First side, usually the hardest. On the second side, I knew a lot more what to do. And then I had a side that was being held. So wasn't that bad but definitely a DIY project the cut was pretty good it fit all my pieces once again you have to stretch so if it comes a little small don't be afraid that it's the wrong size you just have to stretch it around some of the areas I would definitely recommend getting it if you want a DIY and some type of protection like I said there's a few areas that are a little troubling but hey can't be perfect I mean there's still some bubbles this is what you're seeing is 24 hours later. So they said 24 to 48 hours, you still see bubbles. So I'm thinking by the next day, bubbles should be gone, but I still have water bubbles inside of my film. But all in all, pretty easy, definitely doable. As I mentioned before, I have a link to the product down in the description below. Check them out, Invisible Mask. I'm not sponsored by them, but I will have an affiliate link down below. So if you wanna get them, please click on that. Also, give me that thumbs up if this video brought you some value. And as always, do it until you can't. Until next time, I'm out.